Hello everybody, I'm Vauer and welcome to a new Minecraft Redstone tutorial. Today we're going to be building a super fast zipper elevator. Here I have built a small version of the design, which only contains 4 pistons to demonstrate to you how the design works. It's fairly simple. The first thing that will happen is that you uh, step on this pressure plate activating the whole machine. This will activate a redstone signal which will branch off in two directions. The first direction will lead to torches which will go uh, up, powering each piston with a two tick delay of um, between the piston I guess. To the other direction you will first have a um, redstone um, repeater which will of course add a one tick delay since it's set to the first setting. And then it will also lead to the torches which will repeatedly go up and powering the pistons with a one, uh, two tick delay in between. This will enable me to have uh, the first tick activating this piston, the second tick activating this piston, the third tick this piston, and so on. And therefore making the machine work as I wanted it to. The machine is also really flexible. Here I have built a one wide design of the machine, which works the same way. But here instead of pushing the signal from the back, I'm actually pushing the signal be from behind these stairs and from below whatever block you place here, which could be really anyone. And this actually enables you to, for example, make a little bit of a different concept, such as just going through the machine itself by sprinting. This machine is also really customizable. For example, it doesn't have any redstone on its imminent back, meaning you can actually make a backing out of stairs, uh, half slabs, glass, and any other block that does not transmit a redstone signal. You can also choose it which block you want to place on front of the piston and below the stairs, uh, making it pretty customizable with the only exception that you need stairs, so you can only use blocks that uh, have their stair properties. To build this machine, you're going to be needing an area of 2 blocks by 6 blocks, and of course an indefinite height which will be as much as you need the elevator to go up. To start building the machine, you're going to need these blocks on my hotbar, a building block of your choosing, a stair of the material of your choosing, sticky pistons, a pressure plate, redstone dust, redstone torches, and redstone repeaters. To start off, you're first going to place the block that you wish to be on the pressure plate on. So here is where I'm going to put mine. You can either put it here or on the place I just put, uh, depending on where you want the stairs to go. So since I placed here, I will place then my stairs. Let's just place a little block for scaffolding, then break it off, and then I place the stairs over there. After that, I'm going to place a redstone dust behind the, rep the uh, pressure plate and then a redstone repeater facing this direction with only one tick delay. After that, I'll place a block on this side and a block on this side, each with a torch on top of it. After that, place a block on top of each torch and then uh, add a few uh, blocks on top of it and make the sort of spiral design over here. Then you place a torch on the uh, inside of each of these blocks, making um, the redstone signal go up. After that, you're going to first see where you need the pistons to be. So, of course, I need my first piston to be right here. To do so, I will actually just place some scaffolding blocks here and then place my piston. After that, I'll see that I need a piston on top of it, and then you just can go placing alternatively piston and then any f um, a scaffolding block, then piston, scaffolding block, uh, to the amount of height that you wish it to go. After that, you're just going to place a piston here on the side that you need it, which will be right here. So you don't actually need scaffolding blocks since it's just next to a block. And then uh, you can place Oops, I actually forgot to place a block here. Then you place a sticky piston here. After that, you place stairs facing the inside of the machine 
on each end of the sticky pistons. Now it should be working. To build the piston on the end that you push you out of the machine, it's fairly simple. There are many ways to do so, but the one that I found out to be the most compact is by using a regular piston and two torches. So first I'll just place a torch over here, a block on top of it and then a torch on this end. After that I will place, um, let's place a scaffolding block here so I am able to place the piston over here. Then I will actually just place the block which I am supposed to stand on and if I use the machine now, you see I will stand on this block. If you don't like this piston showing up on your machine, you can also do it with sticky pistons. It is fairly simple. First thing you need to do is place a redstone torch here, just like previously you did for the first design. Then you place a block on top of it, but now you place a redstone on this side facing the back of the machine. After that, you place a redstone signal, uh, a block here, oops, I apologize for that, and a redstone dust on top of it, and then place the sticky piston, oops, not there, right next to it. After that, you will just place a block in front of it, and then let's just place our block that we will be moved to, and if they go over here, there we go, it works. You can also achieve the effect of moving forward after you are done using the machine, and it's fairly simple. First, we'll set the platform which we'll land on, which will be right here. Then, we'll place a redstone torch on this block, and a block right on top of it. Then, place a redstone torch facing the inside of the machine on this block, and then place two blocks, one on top of these stairs, and one right next to it. Break this block, and place redstone uh, dust on the remaining block. After that, place a piston right next to it, facing the inside of the machine as well, and now it should be ready to go. Oops, I actually did a little mistake there. Oh, there we go. That is just fine. If you need to use a sticky piston and you don't like having the regular piston face shown here, you can just place a block here, a redstone here, and then uh, another sticky piston here with its block. This is the way it will also work. There we go. Fairly simple and really easy to use. To build a one wide design of the machine, you're going to need an area of 10 by, of course, one block. And, of course, as well, an indefinite amount of vertical height. The first thing you're going to do in order to build a machine is go to the sixth block from left to right and place there your pressure plate and block. Now, you're going to place two redstone uh, dust to the right and a repeater, a redstone dust, a block and a redstone dust on top of it to the left. After that you'll place a block right here with a torch on its uh, side and then you will pillar up like this removing each uh, next block like this. After that you will do the same thing on the other side and removing each one of these making this sort of zigzag pattern. With this, you can actually place torches on the inside of these blocks. On the other side, you're going to do the same thing, but a little bit, uh, one block higher. And it's fairly simple. Oops. <laughs> Let's just place these. And now, remove the block so it's a zigzag shape. Then place the redstone torches. And there we go. After this, you now place the sticky pistons. You place them right next to these blocks, so you just need to do this. I actually don't need the torch, so sorry about placing it there. Same for this one. And actually, this whole little block here is a little bit unnecessary. Now let's just place um, two more pistons on the other side as well, right next to these blocks. And then place stairs on front of the pistons facing the inside of the machine, of course. Now all you need to do is place a stair right on top of this uh, redstone repeater and then when you walk in, the elevator should be working. There you go, you have built your own zipper elevator. But now I want to say some things that you should keep in mind when using the elevator. You can use any sort of blocks to cover up the redstone and the backing, as I said previously, so you don't need this skeleton-shaped elevator 
and you can make it look pretty nice. Also, I really recommend that you have at least two blocks here for the backing because if you go way too far on this pressure plate you can end up getting stuck on the, that piston and then falling all the way over which might kill you depending on the height of your elevator. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you use the elevator and then you pause the game while you're using it, when you go back to game you're going to get stuck on the elevator and then you're gonna fall. But this will really be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed, it was really nice recording a new redstone tutorial and even a little concept that I really liked which was the zipper elevator. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I shall see you next time, bye bye.